If you haven't been here before, which you probably haven't because uh, no one subscribes to me, I am Lauren. Sorry I look really disgusting right now and I'm sweating a ton because I just uh, put this up because I'm tired of everybody seeing my messy house. So anyways, probably haven't been here before, but welcome to my channel. Um, so in my last video that I'm actually uploading as I'm making this video, I announced that I am pregnant and in the video I was 19 weeks old and now I am 24 weeks and 3 days. It's a little bit, actually a huge gap. I haven't made a video in 6 weeks. And that's just because a lot of stuff's been going on and I haven't been like in the mood to make a video I guess. Sorry about my bun, I keep looking at it and it's terrible. Um, yeah, so I haven't made any videos, and I guess that's okay for right now because there's only like 10 of you, but, um, yeah, if I ever talk, talk, talk quietly, it's because I have downstairs neighbors, and I'm really worried they're gonna judge me. So today, I... I'm actually going to talk to you guys about the complications that I was talking about in my last video. Um, we weren't 100% sure what was going on until a couple days ago, actually. The doctors told us that um, the baby did have heart problems and kidney problems. And with the heart, I'm actually going to draw a picture, so hold on. The heart has four chambers, which I'm drawing right now. So this is the most important chamber, I guess, because the blood goes in through here, out to the lungs, uh, comes back in, goes through the other ones, and then this goes out to the rest of the body. Um, and the air does appear in some like other nerves. This is a terrible drawing, I'm really sorry. Uh, I should have used the one that the doctor gave me, but I don't know where it is right now, I don't know where to find it. Or actually, there is a muscle along the walls, as you can see that I kind of drew here, and in the most important chamber, again, the, um, the muscle is just a little bit thicker than the rest of them, which isn't good. It's called uh, hyper hypertrophy, uh, cardiomyopathy, which means that the, the muscle lining is thicker, and that makes it harder for the heart to pump blood um, sometimes and yeah so there's that that was the first issue that they saw and they also um, said that the aorta there might be an issue there with it becoming more narrow than it should be and uh, it's not this narrow at all so the baby might need heart surgery to correct that when born. Um, I might have to drive like four hours away to go get the surgery done. I have to give birth four hours away and get surgery done there because there's the only one uh, pediatric cardiologist in Alberta and they're four hours away so when I give birth and it's, it's going to need surgery right away like yeah. I guess you know what no, okay. Well, yeah. Okay, so it's a girl. I'm just going to start saying she because it's just way too difficult to explain all of this. Like, And there's a whole other spectrum that I haven't explained yet that you're going to know that it's a girl. So she has to go get the surgery, possibly, if her aorta keeps narrowing, which as of right now, it's not narrowing a bunch of the muscle in the heart walls is thickening a little bit, but nothing that they're super, super worried about right now, which is a good thing. Um, I feel like Robin, every time I say um, it's like in How I Met Your Mother, she's always like, but um, and then everybody drinks. If you haven't seen How I Met Your Mother yet, you don't know what you're doing with your life. Get on. And then another thing that's happening is, uh, I'm the worst artist in the world. I'm really sorry. 
Anyways, your kidneys are kind of supposed to look like this. Not at all, but like they're supposed to be separate. They're supposed to be like tilted upwards, like normally, so that uh, urine can pass through it and drain into your this, which uh, then goes into your bladder. But her kidneys like this, so they are tilted and uh, they are fused at the bottom. So up until a couple days ago, well not a couple days ago, about a week and a half ago. I was under the assumption that she only had one kidney because they were kept telling me it was a horseshoe kidney and didn't ever say that it was two kidneys. They just made it sound like they told me it was a big U shape, is what they said. Her kidneys are like this, they are fused. It doesn't cause a whole lot of problems as of right now. There is a little bit of uh, fluid retention in one of them. So it's uh, the urine is just like staying there instead of passing through all the way. I We only saw that once, so up until 22 weeks they hadn't seen it, which was, which is a good thing. And I have my next ultrasound I think two weeks from now. So if there is more fluid retention then they're going to have to do something about it. I'm going to have to see a kidney specialist, but as of right now it's not causing any problems. And yeah, some another doctor came in and told me it might be a genetics thing, which is like chromosome abnormalities, and I was freaking out because, oh, like I'm a young mom as it is, and I didn't, like I was not prepared for what they told me at all. It really freaked me out, and so they sent me to this genetics lady. Which at first they told me was a kidney, someone to talk about the kidneys or whatever. And then it turned out to be a genetic, so you like thumbs on like Down syndrome, like stuff like that. She would explain that to me. And I didn't know that at all. And so I went in there thinking it was for the kidneys and it ended up not being, which made it worse, I think. And she then told me that there was a possibility of a chromosome problem, which she was looking at like Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, uh, Edward syndrome. My baby did not have a widening of the neck from the beginning, and the placenta was normal throughout the whole pregnancy so far. So they they weren't leaning towards Down syndrome, but they also weren't crossing it out either. So, anyways, she kept pushing termination. And at that point, I was 20 weeks pregnant, so halfway there, and she kept pushing termination and was not, after like every five minutes, she'd ask me, oh, I'm sure, like, you don't want to think about termination, I'm sure you won't consider it. And I was like, no, I'm not. Like, even if the baby has something, like, terrible, like, I, I don't want to terminate. And she kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it, and I was like, hey, like, and I just burst out crying. She just stared at me while I cried and didn't really do anything. And yeah, so I left. Hated her. Will not go back to her. I have to keep seeing a genetics counselor. But I refuse to go back to her because she was a gal. <laughs> didn't like her. She was really insensitive in my opinion and I didn't like that. So, um, they wanted me to do an amnio, but there's a 1 in 200 chance of miscarriage for an amnio, an amnio and I um, I don't like those chances at all. I was already, like I said, already 20 weeks pregnant, and I was super attached to it already, like I didn't want to lose it. Yeah, like once you're that far along, you can't even fathom losing it because you already feel it kicking, you already feel it stretching, like, uh, so I was really pissed off that she was pushing her nation. So I was already so attached to this little monster. But she gave me the option to, for an amnio, which is one in 200 chance of miscarriage, or a blood test when the baby is born to find out if it has a uh, chromosome abnormality. I was like, well, those both options suck. So I looked online to see if there was anything else I could do, and then I found out there was something called a non-invasive prenatal test. 
it's called an NIPT. So it's basically just a blood test that I get and they send it off to a company and it's not like 100% accurate like an amniology. It gives you the percentage roughly of what like the child would have. For example, so it tested for Down syndrome, uh, trisomy 13, trisomy 18. It also tests for Turner syndrome, which uh, is like X chromosomes, like the sex chromosomes. So I decided to do that test. It was $500. Um, so it was not covered by Alberta Health whatsoever. That was paid out of pocket. Um, MLs are free, covered by Alberta Health. Couldn't tell you why. Makes no sense that a simple blood test is $500 rather than sticking a needle in your stomach and possibly causing the baby harm. Whereas, like, the blood test doesn't do anything, it won't cause the baby harm whatsoever. Why do people always stand to my house? Like, this couple is literally standing in front of me. Oh, nice! You just let your dog poop on my lawn. Thank you! I hate bearded hipsters. And your stupid wife is stupid too. And you just stood there and watched while your dog pooped on my lawn. And didn't pick it up. Okay, whatever. Anyways, uh, so I got that test done. Because there was no way I was doing that meal. And so my family really helped me out with that. Like, they helped me with the cost of it. And they were super supportive about it. Um, so yeah, I went and got the blood test. It was just in my arm and they sent it off to the company and I got the results within a week, I think. She told me over the phone, which I was fine with because there was no way I wanted to wait to go in and like that would just be... Ugh. I'd already waited long enough, like since 20 weeks and I'm now 24 weeks. So I was just ready to know. Uh, so she told me there's a 0.1% chance that the baby has Down syndrome. 0.1% uh, chance that the baby has chosen me 13 and 18. So that is great. I was really excited about that because those were my biggest fears out of everything. Because it would have been really, really challenging. And then she told me that there is a high likelihood that she has Turner syndrome. Which, in my opinion, that means she has Turner syndrome because they only test for the X chromosome, like I said, to see if it's there or not. And because they use that for gender, they don't use it for Turner syndrome, but it can also be used for Turner syndrome. And they, it wasn't there, so, so I guess, yeah. You, you never know, it could be a miracle when she's born and she could be perfectly healthy and have nothing wrong with her. Which is what my boyfriend likes to think, which would be super awesome. Um, so yeah, she has Turner Syndrome, which out of everything that was the lesser of all the evil, so I am okay with it. I was already expecting her to have something, so obviously it is upsetting knowing that Michelle wasn't going to be healthy and I'm going to actually right after this make another video explaining to her something a little more. So like, comment, and subscribe and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!